okay now uh, we shall estimate this model this one is a auto regressive model or dynamic model and data from 1980 to 1990 it is already here so I press ok so this is the result of the estimated re regression model and the dependent variable is y you can see from here right and we have two independent variable right and uh, r square and the probability right so here uh, this model uh, uh, our plan is to forecast the dependent variable from this model okay but 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 the estimated model should be very good before forecasting that means estimated model the r square should be high there should be no serial correlation there should be no heteroscedasticity and also residual should be normally distributed only then the model is ready for forecasting but not before that so meaning that in other way when the model has no statistical error only then we can app we can use the model for forecasting not before that that is the normal guideline and you see for this particular model x is significant variable but uh, y lag 1 is not but at least out of two one is significant so we are happy about it so what is the guideline normally at least 50 percent variable at least 50 percent independent variable should be significant uh, so that is the normal guideline to accept a model so here out of two one is significant so we we are happy about it and r square is quite high 73.71 percent so we are happy about it then f statistics and corresponding probability it is also significant so we are happy about it right okay then we check uh, what, uh, check the serial correlation whether this particular model has serial correlation or not okay okay view I go to view residual diagnostic and serial correlations so suppose here I take 2 lakh okay and serial correlation LM test observed R square and the probability value 0 0.473 meaning that 4.73 percent which is less than 5 percent meaning that we can reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis and what is our alternative our alternative is uh, uh, the our alternative is there is serial cor correlation in this model in other words there is serial correlation in the residual of this estimated re regression model so the model is not good 
we are not happy about it right now because there is serial correlation okay but we assume that uh, this model has no heteroscedasticity and we also assume that uh, the residual is normally distributed but there is only one problem that there is serial correlations okay although although this model has serial correlation we shall still we shall still we shall still forecasting the model so although there is serial correlation we shall still forecasting this model to check what happens finally okay this is done okay but what we do before leaving this model le uh, our model we give a name of this of this estimated regression model right we better give a name suppose the name of this model I put it here name you can see I click name suppose the name I put as uh, equation one right the whole estimated model uh, it is equation one I give it as a name right and, and, and so I press OK so uh, so so you can see it has come here like this if you go to the work, work file you can see the model estimated regression model right equation one it is saved already you check from here so this is our model and it is equation one you can see from here right so so uh, on the basis of this model we shall forecast the dependent variable and and the name of this model that we have just estimated is called eq1 right right and it is in the work file it is here it is here right it is here and this thing will stay there this thing will stay there so uh, this is uh, set this is set okay now we are to forecast this model having serial correlation right this model eq1 has a serial correlation that we have already seen okay i go to quick sorry proc not proc i go to okay first i open this model eq1 right this is my model i go to proc and forecast also it is here you can click here directly forecast this model forecast click on it and we choose the dynamic model dynamic forecasting not static this time uh, our method would be dynamic method and forecast name I better I better give a name suppose the name is EQ1 by YF1 that means what is happening here it means that our model EQ1 would be forecasted YF1 the right so the model EQ1 would be would be forecasted into future 
and our sample data should be from 1991 to 1994 right okay and that means only four years the forecasting would be only four years very small forecasting okay and what I do I deselect this one deselect that means uh, if I deselect meaning that there will be no actual Y if I deselect meaning that there will be no actual Y only forecasted Y or dependent variable will be shown right okay okay what I do okay I better uh, here I, I, I change the name suppose I take it YF only right I better take it uh, uh, I better take it uh, uh, YF right okay so the name is yf and equation one right so and the equation is eq1 right and that we want to forecast right okay from 1991 to 1994 everything is set right everything is set properly now i can proceed i go to okay so for only four years right four years forecast okay so this one is the forecast of you can see forecast of equation eq1 actual y only four four years forecast and what about all this thing root mean square mean absolute error mean absolute percent error tau inequality coefficient and so on okay so actually these are all called forecasting evaluation right these are called forecasting evaluation and here the smaller the value better the model all the time okay out of all this we shall choose the root mean square error right and that that is our benchmark right and smaller the value of root mean square the model will be better all the time right that means the the forecasting ability of the estimated regression model will be better if root mean square error goes down right that means the yeah so and uh, and you can see from here this one is the uh, f forecasted value of the equation one blue color it is this one right it is the f f f forecasted value of of the dependent variable y and the whole thing actually called 95% confidence interval and this line is passing through 95% confidence interval meaning that between two line you see there is a uh, there's two standard deviation line the color is red so it is passing through right it is passing through 
the 95% confidence interval. So the gap is called 95% confidence interval. So the our our uh, our uh, model, our uh, for, 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 for for forecasting is passing through it. So we are happy about it because it is passing through it, right? We are passing through it. So we are happy about it. And our root mean square is uh, how much? 3.0141, okay? So I better write it, our root mean square. So I better write it. I did our root mean square is how much? Okay. And uh, yes, I better write it here. I write it here. Our root mean squared error is uh, how much? 3.0 one four one three six right we can see from here right and smaller the value better the uh, uh, better the predictive ability of this model eq1 okay and here root mean squared error is our benchmark to evaluate a model evaluate a model a estimated regression model okay so this uh, root mean square error actually this one is for what for equation one right equation 1 and we know that this uh, equation 1 has serial correlation right okay now you can see another issue is coming up this EQ1 and forecasted value has been saved already has been saved uh, here in our in our uh, work file you can see it has been saved what is this one eq1 yf it means eq1 yf actually the forecasted value value of equation 1 having serial correlations right right that is eq1 already saved right already saved and here the value of root mean squared is 3.014136 so so, uh, yeah, so...